Hi everyone. Welcome back to the sunny side. Today Sunny wanted to talk to you guys about what it means if you have your natal Mars in the zodiac sign of Cancer. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Share the videos and buy lots of merch. Everyone ready? Here we go. Before we get to the whole warrior crab fun stuff, it's important to ask the question. Does Mars even like it in Cancer? You see astrologically Mars is actually in its fall in Cancer so that's not great. But why should Mars like it here anyways? Mars is disruptive, aggressive, competitive and always leaves the toilet seat up. That's not very crab love if you ask me. Look at it like this. Cancer energy wants to hang out in the kitchen making snacks for everyone whereas Mars energy is hanging out back talking to girls and passing the vape. Mars isn't necessarily the guy jumping off of the roof into the pool. That's kind of a Jupiter thing. But Mars will make a run to the dispensary and tree the car on the way home. Does that sound like sexy Miss Cancer to you? No. And yes. Did you know Cancer is a cardinal zodiac sign? That means they can be aggressive and start things all on their own. When walking into the kitchen at any party you should instantly be able to tell what someone's zodiac sign is. Scorpio and Taurus will be standing there and not moving very much where Cancer will be an oscillating energy ball running from whatever to whatever. So getting back to Mars. Yes Cancers will totally run support in the middle of the action but they're probably not going to smash the car. Although Sunny wants to note that Cancers are touch and go sometimes with the driving ability. Let's now throw another little point into the mix. Mars energy will for the most part go straight to the store. Probably get into a fight but then return home. Cancer energy will sneak out of the party to run the same errand but where Mars wants to return straight home. Cancer will always meander. Even if they are trying to rush straight back. Cancers will wander and all concept of time will disappear. Sunny says you have to understand how the crabs move from water to land and back. Time or movement and even cancers themselves are very fast at times. Just like the crab scurrying across the beach. At other times. Let's imagine under the water. Things move very slowly and differently. Cancer is cool with this but Mars isn't. Let's now put everything together. Imagine taking these two energies and putting them together. What do you get? Do 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 do. Warrior crab. You wish. More like moody and wandering wet sweater monster that's probably a bit of a sex freak. One would think that adding a little backbone from Mars to the soft innards of our squishy crab would be just the ticket to success but the gift of a strong backbone isn't exactly Mars gig. Once again. Mars is disruptive and argumentative. Cancer is moody at the best of times. Put it together and you're going to get one super grouchy crab with extra sharp claws and a jones to use them so be careful. On the plus side you really can get a warrior crab. That would be someone with a healthy disposition of nurturing others. And sticking up for those in need. These guys could mature into a super mom for everyone. On the downside. Imagine that this super mom is always busy running around and doing stuff. They are always in a well or off on their own. That is definitely a warrior crab but it's not exactly crab love if you ask Sunny. Now when the Mars energy begins to push. Then Squishy can turn to prickly very quickly and if you don't move fast enough then here come the claws. Everyone be cool. This is just astrology talk about the strength of planets in the astrological signs. Mars actually likes it in Capricorn. In Capricorn the aggressive energy of Mars becomes channeled into achievement. So astrologically that is considered good. But Sunny says moody super warrior crabs are a lot more fun than workaholic and uptight slave driving sea goats. Although Sunny notes that Tiger Woods seemed to have a lot of fun while he was doing his thing so take it all with a grain of salt and try and keep it between the sidewalks. How to know if your mom has Mars in Cancer. The kids will say hey. Your mom is super hot but she can really be a b sometimes. Getting back to the party story. Mars in Cancer are the guys who are trying to do a heavy slice for the team. But almost always. If they leave for ice cream at 2 pm. Then you won't be seeing them again until midnight. So if they ask for a ride then you better prepare for an all day adventure. Cancer's moon will always be fluctuating and the Mars energy will always chase whatever it's pointed at. Cancer is the least focused sign. Mars is the most direct planet. Together. They have a chance to be super successful. Unfortunately. You'll have to watch it because these guys can also lose focus pretty quickly as well. Special note here. Cancer rules the breasts and stomach but nothing is sexier in the entire zodiac than crab legs. Thanks Sunny. Okay. So to wrap it up. Mars in Cancer people have the ability to be warrior crabs. They can go above and beyond with their nurturing and mothering of the world. Think Princess Diana. On the downside. Mars disrupts Cancer's natural subconscious rhythm set by the changing moon. Finally. Sunny says you have to use all of the energy in your chart to the best of your advantage. Mars in Cancer people will be pulled all over the place and emotionally driven. It's all really up to the person whether they want to be a wet sweater or a warrior crab. 
wishing everyone the best and if you'd like to know your own birth chart then simply follow the link in the description box to the sunnyside.net where you can get a free astrology report including your birth chart. Once again, wishing everyone the best of a beautiful day and sunny will see you again on the live stream.